Flint has a black history gem hiding in plain sight, not far from downtown. As Mid Michigan House Mike Wolfolk reports, it's truly golden. It's a Wednesday night in the Vehicle City, and this place is rocking. Soulful tunes at what old schoolers might consider a juke joint. This is the Golden Leaf Club. It's somewhat off the beaten path, but quite popular with those who can appreciate that. Oh yes, we have regulars that come every day. But this isn't your typical nightclub. Yes, there's music. Yes, there's a full service bar. But the patrons are mostly dues paying members who as such are co-owners of this establishment, which has stood for more than a century. Levy Gordon says she's worked here off and on for more than 40 years. This is a place where whatever troubles you have once you get in the golden leaf, you forget all about your troubles. Music has always been at its heart with some highly recognizable big names passing through. I can't really name a lot of names because that was before my history. But the list is said to include Stevie Wonder, Diana Ross, and Dizzy Gillespie, among others. When they'd have shows downtown, the people needed somewhere to go. So they would come by here before they went to the shows downtown, or they would come by here after the shows downtown. Back then, Reed says this was the only place for African Americans to party in Flint. Today, it's not the only place these folks can come, but it's the place they do prefer. Is music still a big part of this place? Music is. We still have a band every Wednesday. Well, you know, we come here on a regular basis. The Golden Leaf is a private social club. John L. Allen Bay and his wife, Shante, joined last year. When it's summertime, there's 500 cars around here of people, you know, enjoying the atmosphere, and we've never had a problem. In the daylight, you can see the building sits all alone, just off Saginaw Street. Lottie Reed says back in the day, this was a thriving area with schools, grocery stores, a record shop, and more. Everything in the neighborhood was for the neighborhood. Everything changed, though, when the state built I-475. Everything except the Golden Leaf Club. We depend on our community to come in and help us survive. And survive they have. Lottie says they are always looking for new members, and that's why they welcome the general public in to check the place out. They have a special Ladies' Night Out Black History Month event coming up on Sunday. It's from 6 until, so put on your best African attire, grab a friend, and enjoy some great company, along with great food and great fun. Mike Wolfolk, Mid-Michigan Now.